What's up, you guys? So today I'm going to review every single Raptor that I own. Now, obviously, there's it's not going to be on strict Jurassic World category, as you can see. It's just any brand, even the cheap, notoriously low branded stuff. Now, I'm not standing up the camera for this video because I was originally going to do it on logs, but now that I have it in this angle, it's better just to see every raptor. Anyways, here's an overview of all the raptors I own. Now, all these are not Velo... Now, not all these are Velociraptors. <laughs> the only two that aren't Velociraptors are the feathered ones and not the green feathered one either. So, all right, that's pretty good. So we're gonna review. So we're gonna review these things, not in no kind of canonical order. But anyways, so here we have the Am Collection Tiger Velociraptor from the Lost World Jurassic Park. Now it's not that accurate to the Lost World Raptor, but still. Basically accurate. In many ways, it's Jaws. Well, it looks pretty cool. If you had seen my toy review, you would probably know a lot more on this. Well, not really. But anyways, they are coming out with a baby Tyrannosaurus. Which, honestly, doesn't even seem to be like an Amber Collection figure. I would call it more of a premium figure like the legacy collection plus figure because it's literally the same exact size as the as the junior rex that we got from the left for the for the legacy collection line i can't even speak but anyways it's got gold eyes this has been a pretty huge trend with velociraptors in giraffe in the jurassic world industry or the Jurassic World trilogy it's with the yellow eyes but anyways it's jaws are double jointed so it gives it a lot it gives it a lot of dynamics I sometimes have the jaws like this sometimes I just have the jaws like this while a lot of the time I just have it closed there's some little split right here they haven't, they probably haven't applied this correctly there's a joint on the head that's kind of limited. Now, there, now, the head sculpt is actually not accurate to this Raptor. This is actually the Velociraptor Blue sculpt. But that, still is, but that does not ruin the quality of the figure. What does ruin the quality of the figure is the partnership between Rod's Random Work and Marco Mix into making more accurate head sculpts. I was, I was considering on buying one for the JP Raptor which we will see in a bit, but but at the same time, I really don't want to because it may not ever truly look like my Velociraptor's head. But anyways, the arm rotates, full 360 and arms pivot. The arms move, the, other, the forearm moves and rotates, full 360. Hands do the same thing. The weird, the number one thing that confused me about the Amber Collection figures pretty recently is this finger. Why is this finger basically just a claw and the rest of them are just fingers? Doesn't make sense to me. Anyways, the legs can move and they can pivot. Same deal of motion. There's, a, there's movement in the sickle claw but not the toes. This one is kind of hard to move. I think some I think some enormous amount of glue went into there. And then the tails are on a ball joint and have wire inside of them. So yeah, I'm gonna set these Velociraptors inside of a bin. Or set these raptors inside of a bin. Because I only brought them out just to show you guys 
on this video. Oh. So next up, we got the JP Raptor. Basically just the Lost World Raptor, but just the Jurassic Park Velociraptor. Here are the emerald eyes. It's got the same deal in motion. This one's this one's leg is kind of loose, especially on the foot right here. The foot is probably the loosest part on this on this dinosaur's leg. This part is also loose. But the claws do move flawlessly. And if you guys have been watching my videos since Christmas, of, since late 2020, you're probably going to be asking, where's the Amber Collection Echo? Where's the Amber Collection Echo, Charlie and Delta? All those have died, but I'm going to try to regain them. Anyways, this one goes back to the bin. And here we have an attack pack crouching velociraptor. Now this one actually came in a two pack with a gal with a gallimimus. Now, if you had seen my recent video on my thoughts on the canceled Jurassic World dinosaurs, you would know that the two packs were a canceled line, which I was actually unaware that they were canceled because I honestly had thought that they were not canceled. Judging by the fact that I had seen all three of them, two of which I had gotten, one I haven't. Anyways, it's got some basic articulation, mouth moves, the arms rotate 360 and the legs rotate 360. That's about it. Now time for the one, now time to start with the ones that actually are not Velociraptors. Now, if you had seen my, now I don't know if I actually had uploaded any reviews of these figures. I don't think I have, honestly. So I'm going to review them on here, exclusively. Unless I have already reviewed these on the channel. But anyways, this is the Dromaeosaurus albertensis. It's from a line known as Beasts in the Mesozoic, which is a line of collectible dinosaurs from the Mesozoic era. Now, it's not just any randomized, randomized dinosaurs. They're in different series. The Raptor series, a the Ceratopsian series, and in next week on Wednesday there there's gonna be the Kickstarter will will be released for the for the Tyrannosaur series, and there could be any and there could be possible series after that. We don't know it. We don't know for sure yet. But anyways, you may not you probably will not want to play with us too much, especially with the drama and sources. The tail paint will wear off drastically. So, yeah. So, for articulation points, its, it's mouth opens and closes. There's a ball joint in the, t in the, in the tongue. The arms rotate full 360 and then pivot. The arms move up and down but don't actually rotate. So do the hands. The torso. Excuse me. The torsos can actually move. At first I didn't see why this was ethical. To be honest. But now that I have this. I now totally like the ab crunch. Legs rotate and pivot. They're on a ball joint. Knees can move and rotate. Part of the leg can. And the foot can move. And the, the sickle claw can move. The sickle claws and the toe claws and the hand claws are actually very sharp. So, you probably will not want to give this to little kids. And you probably shouldn't give this to little kids. Since this is recommended for ages 15 and up. Even I'm not old enough to have these, but I still got them. Now, I don't actually have the Velociraptor yet, but I'm, but I'm pretty much... But I'm probably going to get the Velociraptor for Christmas. I don't know for sure. 
but definitely gonna try to get the get the velociraptor real soon, and maybe even a ceratopsian while I'm at, while I'm at it. Now we're gonna actually save this one for the end of the video because this one's my true favorite. And there are now real quick, they do come with interchangeable toes, but I'm unable to use them for the Dromaeosaurus because when I try to take it when when I try tried to take its toes off, one of them actually ended up breaking. Yeah, the, the thing, the part where the toe pegs in, actually broke, so I'm unable to use it anymore. So I super glued it, and then another time, the thing didn't break, but the toes ended up becoming extremely loose, and I also didn't like that either, so I super glued it. So yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you. Tail can go side to side and can rotate. There's actually like. There's actually two ball joints. This is where you can get the tail to stay straight. And this ball joint is where you can make the tail rise up. But I normally just leave it straight. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing it too much because it will loosen it up drastically. I'm probably going to try to super glue it to add some strength. There's a ball joint in this area of the tail too. And a wire. But anyways... Let's resume Jurassic World for a bit. Here's the Battle Damage Velociraptor. I actually kind of repainted this one. Not not too much, just the eyes and the mouth. Because the eyes were extremely scuffed up. Like there was basically, there was just rings for eyes. And I made the pupils very dilated. He, it's kind of terrifying, to be honest. So yeah, I managed to repaint this Velociraptor to look more terrifying than it was supposed to be. And the mouth is pretty much messed up because there's a paint splotch in the mouth. And yeah, I'm basically just not good at repainting stuff. But anyway, as we just saw, the mouth opens and closes. Opening the mouth only adds to the terror, especially in this angle. Not so much in that angle, but especially in this angle. So we're going to close the mouth so that way I can spare you guys nightmares. Head rotates and goes up and down. Arms move, but are extremely loose and can pivot. Legs rotate, not 360, and can also pivot. The tails don't move. And on the side, you press this. And... There, there it dies. Now, time for a not so much a Jurassic World toy, but more of just like a candy dispenser. So, if you have seen my, if you if you if you've been watching my stuff this year in 2021, you might have seen the video where I showed you guys like this funny infomercial type video. Where I basically showed you guys these chupa chup pop ups where the gummy bears were hidden inside of them. I pretty much just spoiled the video for you guys. So if you guys haven't watched that video, don't watch it now because I just spoiled it. But if you want to watch it, then that's totally fine. But anyways, so the way that this works is that you just you just raise up this little notch here. And you would get your chupa chup and you could just take it out and then suck on it. But yeah, there's no detail whatsoever. Well, there is detail, but no tongue, no inside of the mouth paint. And also it doesn't, and also the stripe doesn't really run up to her entire eye. Or at least it's splotched. I don't really know how to explain it, but. You know, there's also a Tyrannosaurus variant. It's, you don't have to push on this little lever. Right here, you can actually just push that in. So, um, yeah, you can do that. Next up, we got the Schleich Velociraptor. 
Anyways, mouth can open and close. It can open super wide, but I wouldn't recommend it. Speaking of Schleich, recently I had seen the Tyrant, the classic Tyrannosaurus, but the American version. At least I call it the American version because it's red, white, and blue, just like the American flag. But it could also be a different country, but most likely it's representing America. And the arms move, which is kind of rare for Schleich to do with, with dinosaurs for their arms to move. They also recently came out with play sets that you can actually play with the Jurassic World figures in. But personally, I believe Mattel should release their own breakout set with a couple of exclusive dinosaurs not attack packs like these but like but like a savage strike velocer but like some kind of savage strike figure a another savage a savage strike figure a a fierce force figure a mega destroyer figure and a skeleton dinosaur figure i should be, i believe they should release different play sets of buildings like Breakout Gates and Lockwood Estate with, with the Indoraptor possibly. Maybe not the Indoraptor, but with some skeletons. But yeah. But before we take a look at this, we're going to be taking a look at the worst one possible, this one. Now this one doesn't have any real brand. I found this at a family dollar for like $5. But yeah, it had... It had light and sounds, but me being me took the batteries out and have glue and has glued it since. So now there's no possible way you can get this thing to work unless you dilute this, which I don't know if it would be necessary. But anyways, the arms rotate, the legs move. And that's pretty much it. It's just a piece of garbage for about like five dollars so yeah now let's take a look at the actual bones the fossil strikers velociraptor now i actually don't know where the fossil striker is the little dna activator but if you want to see the dna activator in use you're gonna have to go and watch my toy review video on it But anyways, it's got a posable jaw, ball joint that doesn't really function well as a ball joint. You can rotate its head, it goes up and down. Here in the neck also goes up and down, it can also rotate. The arms fully rotate and, and pivot, legs can pivot and rotate. So can it, the knees can also move and rotate. And so can the ankles. But the feet don't move, and the and there's a slight ab crunch, but not really technically an ab crunch, and some not so good movement in the tail. That's about it for maximum movement. But yeah, this was essentially the best fa This was essentially the best dinosaur skeleton toy you could get back in 2018 because it's not the cheap five. Is that the cheap dollar store quality excavation fossil thing that usually make leaves a big mess? It isn't really that good quality and doesn't even move that much. Well, with this, you get tons of playability. You get a DNA activator. And the best part is, you don't have to excavate it and keep cleaning it. So, yeah. Pretty big plus on, on this part. And now... Time for the attack pack Velociraptor Blue. Now, for now the bowel damage Velociraptor's eye scuffing is pretty similar to the attack pack Blue's eye scuffing. The camera won't focus, so I, I'm not going to be... I'm not able to show you guys the eye scuffing there. And what I mean by the stripe splop, sloppage, like the, like the thing leads, to, leads up to her entire eye, this just isn't that accurate. But anyways, it's got the same movement as the crouching Velociraptor. Mouth moves, arms rotate, legs rotate. That's about it. Set this guy. Next up, we got the Savage Strike Velociraptor. This was the best Savage Strike Velociraptor to date. 
back then. The jaw opens and closes. This was, if I can remember cor correctly, this was Charlie. The mouth closes, the neck moves, the legs can pivot and rotate. The arms can move and pivot, but that's for the gimmick. And the tail can rotate, which is kind of rare for Jurassic World toys. The tail, well, at least the small Jurassic World toys, they don't move really, they don't really move their tails that much. And their arms strike. Their arms slash, or if you like memes, they just waddle around. Although waddling isn't really that much of a meme. Another non-Jurassic World toy is the Safari LTD 2007 Velociraptor. Now, I have done a review on this on the channel like a while ago. So, yeah. There's no articulation points, it's just a solid Velociraptor to toy. It can pair up with your Jurassic World toys since it's basically around the same size. Oh. Well, I'm just gonna show this one. Not just not because it knocked down. Not, not because it fell down. But anyways, it's got the same motion. Moving and rotating, all that stuff. The same arm slashing feature. And blue. This is the Down Arrivals blue. That's that's when this version of the Savage Strike Velociraptor was featured. Again, same movements, same same action feature. And here we got a new one, the Fierce Force Velociraptor. Now this is my latest Velociraptor toy. Definitely not gonna be my last. Hopefully I can acquire the Beast in the Mesozoic Velociraptor. I, rec I actually really want it super badly. But anyways, so it's ne so like the Savage Strike Velociraptor, its jaw opens, neck moves up and down, rotates. Arms can move and, and pivot. Legs can move and pivot. Not that much. And the tail can also move. Now this one has more of a lazy action feature. You see right here in the ab. That's it. There's no buttons to control it. You have to manually move it yourself. It's actually a pretty good action feature when you do it over time. It's honestly a perfect thing for like four year olds. So that way they don't have to use buttons and possibly break the thing. And they're like a, a little oval on the hips well on the back where there were it looks like there was a button originally supposed to be there but it's been like canceled so yeah my book my good buddy mesozoic vlogs by the way shout out to mesozoic vlogs and a special shout out to annie's dinosaur reviews for commenting on my baryonyx grim video review so yeah shout outs to mesozoic vlogs and annie's dinosaur reviews but anyways, so then finally for our final raptor, we got the Balar Bonduk. Bonduk. Now, believe it or not, this is actually not a dinosaur. It is actually a bird. Yeah, it's kind of hard to believe. This is actually a bird. A floofy dinosaur. I mean, I mean, if you didn't know this was a dinosaur, you could have probably guessed this was a bird. But this one is an actual bird. Scientists originally thought it was a dromaeosaur. It could still be a dromaeosaur, but since dinosaurs aren't alive, we don't really know for sure. But this is the Balar Bonduk. And I have to say, it's one of my favorite dinosaurs for now. That might change once the Velociraptor gets released. Anyways, the Balar Bonduk has a ball joint in its head. Mouth can move and rotate. I mean, move. Neck, neck goes side to side and up and down. There's no ball joints, just. The arms can pivot and rotate. Same motion for the arms. Same motion for the legs, knees, feet. This one actually has two sickle claws and not just one, which adds more 
motion. Same joint on the tails. Same joint on the tail. Or same joints on the tail. And water in its, t in its tail. But anyways, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And goodbye.